What's going on guys? This is your boy Wills coming through with another install review video. Today we're going to do the Atoto AC44P1 USB front dash camera. Got it for 30 bucks on Amazon. It's specific to the M4 and A6 series. First I got to take out an old USB cigarette lighter plug I had going to a GoPro at one point. So I'm pretty familiar in how this is going to go. I'm just going to pretty much replace it with the front facing camera. First step is to plug it up, so let's go ahead and do that. You gotta pull the stereo out to get behind it. Come on. Come on. Gotta unplug the hazard switch. This is where you would plug it in, um, but we're not gonna do that just yet. Step two, insert the SD card, and this is where I had some issues. Oh yeah, and take that plastic off the front of the camera. It's a good idea to go ahead and clean up the spot where you're going to stick the camera right when you peel off the 3M tape. So I pretty much got it where I want it. I'm just going to go ahead and tuck it in here like I had the last setup. There we go. I actually had to pull out a flathead screwdriver to get it into those cracks. Run through the bottom right through the front of the deck. Step three just pretty much outlines the basic functions of the dash cam. The aux is currently set up to my reverse camera at the moment, but we're going to change that. DVR is the built-in app that works directly with the front cam. As you can see, we have a clear picture. Whoa. Just doing a little testing here. Everything looks good. So back to the SD card. It says no external storage device. I actually had to go back, format the memory card that says SD1 for it to actually work. Let's go back and take a look at it. Again, the DVR app. Set the settings or the gear. Now it shows SD1 as the recording device. I also discovered while testing, if I plug in my reverse cam into that middle video port, it'll actually play my music while showing the backup camera. Something it wasn't doing before, and you have to use the FCAM app just so you know, here's the head unit that I got installed. It's a great head unit. It really is. So I wanted to drive around and test it. Today is not the best looking day here in Colorado Springs, but I figured I'd give it a shot. After this clip, I letterboxed the date up there. It, it just was getting to me. There we go. There's really no way to remove it. I, I dug in the settings. I couldn't find anything that gets rid of it. Okay, so here I adjusted it. Again, the thing twists right on the side and almost a, a 180 degree turn. Here's the camera in a bumpy situation. Not bad. And these guys decided to get in my way. I honked. Didn't even move. Here's a highway test. It was such a gloomy day today. Let's hit downtown while I'm down here. Why not? And by the way, I have like a GoPro cell phone holder to the lower left. Here's like a mid-evening type of vibe. Um, I was hoping it got darker by the time I was heading back home, but it didn't. To go back and play the recorded files, hit this. And they're right there all in the list. I keep them unlocked. I got a couple JPEGs in there. That's the highway trip. And there's a ton of settings if you go there. Hit settings within the player, there's like a ton of things, way more settings for the player than the actual front cams option. It's, it's kind of weird. Look, there's like theme settings and everything. Yo guys, um, I want to drive around and do some night footage because driving during the day is kind of challenging um, and it's too bright. I want you to see what it looks like at night. So let's go to a night scene real quick.
record in three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, or it'll do continuous. Real quick guys, the next day was a lot better as far as the weather. I went riding around again, this time with nicer weather. All right, I'm gonna go finish the video now, let's go. So here's the next day, it's noon. The sun is out pretty bright. People are doing nice things for other people. Overall, it was just a good day. The camera handles the ISO well. Picked up Comac. We're just messing with the rotation of the camera. If you got a Toto stereo, I strongly recommend you pick this up for the price, 30 bucks, you couldn't beat it. It spits out a H.264 codec, but I still had to use software to convert the footage to use it in this video. And here's the next day, I couldn't help it. I had to get some golden hour footage. Um, I didn't color grade any of this footage. It was a beautiful day, it's about 5.30 this evening. Had to do it, had no choice, it, it was just so nice. And here's where my backup camera is located. Again, I like to have it to where I can drive, my backup camera works while I'm driving, and I discovered how to play music while I'm doing that. Music will also play through this front dash cam as well. Not the one I'm showing, the one I just installed, of course. 